Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Enjoy. Hello, this is the Hot Topic Show. It's what we do. We won't judge, but we're judging. It's going to be juicy. Now, here's Wendy. Get started, it's time for Hot Topics. I just, I just got here like 40, 40, stop, I'm trying to talk. I just got here like 45 minutes ago and I swear to God, I just had a crying fit back there in the chapel. Um, it, no, because you know the stress, the commute, somebody's gotta do something about the traffic. I mean, honest to God, I am shaking. Plus it's a big day because Nick is here and I, and I knew, you know, I am shaking and sweating. Anyway, you know, first of all, I love Nick. I must tell you that before um, I knew Nick now, um, I didn't know why Mariah selected him. <laughs> I no, I'm, I know I'm not the only one. I thought he was boyish and comedic and I thought she needed a man to handle her hips and you know, at, you know at, I mean that in the physical way. You understand what I'm saying. Well, I was absolutely wrong. I get it. Plus he's a comedian, an actor, a rapper, an entrepreneur. He's the father of three. Please welcome a man to our show, not a boy. Please welcome my new friend, Nick Cannon. I'm saying, Nick, like you saw it. Like sometimes you just get overcome. You ever cried before? You know what? I'm here to bring peaceful vibrations and love frequencies to calm all that down so we can have a good show. Good. So we're just going Thank to do you, that. Nick. A lot of the ladies in the audience were nodding. They understood what I meant when I said, you know, when you first married Mariah, we were like, why Nick Cannon? We didn't get it. You know? Really? But now, yes! Okay. But no, I totally, Mariah, I know you're watching. I get it. Yeah. All right, the outfit. The outfit. I'm just gonna give you um, an overall cam. First, the uh, shoe cam, <laughs> the, the, the turban. Can do it. The convertible turban. Oh, there we go. Okay. What kind of shoes are those? Oh, these are Margiela. You know, uh huh. You have to just mm -hmm. And look at your watch. Your watch is crazy. It matches the shoes. It has to match the shoes. You know can I? Can I, can I get? Can I get some back cam? Some back cam? Yeah, I want to see it up close. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you and Kim K dated at one point. Oh, we just jumping right to it, huh? Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> it's hot topics. <laughs> right. We'll do a little of you, and then, of course, he'll be here all hour long. We're gonna yes. put him on the couch. We'll be in the hot seat. I'm oh, here. Oh, please, please. Oh, how I've waited for this day. I'm not going to let you down. <laughs> but let's talk about Kim K. 
Okay. So you dated her way back in the day um, when she was still very beautiful, but barely recognizable to the woman that she is today. <laughs> now, how long did you date her? Uh, we were friends for quite some time. I mean, I, I knew her for a few years. Uh, so you never claimed her as a girlfriend or anything? She was I have, I still, I mean, titles. We, we shouldn't put titles on things. Titles. You did. You have a, you have a wife, then an ex-wife. There's yeah, a title. Yeah, and I feel like that's the problem with society. We put too titles. many titles. titles. We, it's too many classifications. People don't understand it, and that's what breaks things up. We what? were great friends for a very long time. Yeah. I like the turban look, by the way. Thank you. I mean... <laughs> You know, it's not, I gotta tell you something. It's not for every man. Yes. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, only certain people can pull it off, so. Here's the interesting thing I found about you. Upon going to your show, Wilding Out, and first of all, he's Which she was amazing on, y'all. Yeah, I, I wrote amazing. a book and everything. But seeing how you maneuver and, and, you know, you're very kind to your staff and with the kids and stuff, when I got up on you, I am amazed you have no hair on your face. That yeah. adds to the whole boyish thing. <laughs> Maybe that's what threw a lot of us off. It could be. So it's, I exfoliate. I, it's, it, yes. <laughs> but no, nah, I don't know. I, maybe I, I've never. And that's a good. That's a good really problem know. to have. Yeah. No, no shaving. Dang. All right. So untouched photos of Kim Kardashian. We've seen them. She's on the beach. Um, some people. Well, I mean, but that is a natural woman's behind. Yeah. I mean, not a natural in terms of um, the size, because obviously that's not natural. But you know, the lumps and the bumps. <laughs> And the hanging, I mean, she's had a couple of babies and she's, yeah. a, she's a woman of a particular age. Show the other one so we can see her inner uh, thigh action. The, from, inner, from the, the inner thigh. Yeah, I wanna make, yeah, I wanna make regular women feel good. Like, you see, see all the touching and stuff that goes on? I mean, you can get booty implants or yeah. whatever, uh, you know. That's a woman. But That's... this is a woman's body. Yeah. Can't be mad at that. And she's embracing it, she's enjoying her. It's so figure. funny. It's so funny, Nick, though, that her butt is so big that you, you can actually see it seep, from behind. seeping you can through see the, it front. From the front. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rap lyric. I see that thing from the front. <laughs> anyway, all right, enough with the uh, retouching, though, Kim. We, we actually, um, she uh, talked to her people, Nick, and she, you know, her um, online constituency. Right. And she, she deleted the photo, and she said yesterday, um, or the day that she took it, there it is, that's what yeah. she said. She needs better lighting. And better See, one thing about her, like, and, and the women of her caliber that I've had the privilege to be around, they pay close attention to detail when it comes to angles and lighting and whether, whether like, she's a professional when it comes to all of that stuff. Yeah. That, you got it. She, that's her business. So yeah, she wants yeah. to put the best her out there. I'm not mad at yeah. it. Yeah. Um, all right. So now... Carmelo and Lala. Now, you're a man about town. Do you yes, know these people? I do. I love Carmelo and I love Lala. Now, yeah. well, Lala is single now. You wouldn't stab your man in the back, would you? Nah, that's my guy. That's okay. family. Lala's like my sister. We, I've known her since radio days, and then we, did, we well, just did Chirac together. I'm, I'm sure that Tom Cruise didn't think that Jamie Foxx would poach either. Ooh, that was, ooh, that was right. low, wasn't that, it? But, uh, no, it's not low, but, you know, I hear what you're saying, but I'm saying b b bros do break the code over some booty. Not like that, though. I don't. It's enough to go around. I don't know. <laughs> often question that, why does every man in Hollywood date the same 17 girls? There's no women, all these women in here, and we just dating the same 17 women. She said, she said her. Lala posted a picture of herself on Instagram, and Carmelo liked it. Yes. And some people are saying that that's inappropriate. But they just announced to us that they're getting a divorce. Uh, uh, yeah, he had the break baby with the, or he's about to have a baby with an alleged stripper, or an alleged baby. She got a college degree, an educated stripper. That's, anyways, I think this is all right. That is his, that's his baby mama. That's like, he, he, he can appreciate, like, like, double like it. That's why she posted the picture. I she, think. She posted that picture like, I'm in the bathroom, Melo gonna like this. Yeah. <laughs> and you wanna know what? And, and I don't mind that until the point that I get a real life after him, you know, where I can sort out being divorced and I start dating or I move. Like, okay. then you, that's when you start to block. You see, you can look at You me. gonna block? Yes. <laughs> don't look at my new boyfriend or my new cat or my new couch. What? Are y'all really clapping about that? 
These are my people. They're your people too. Wallin, 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 Wallin. See? That's not, I'm not rocking with that one. Mm -mm. That, they're supposed, they're always going to be family. So they should be open. And when she posts something, he should be able to see it. Likewise, you shouldn't block the man. The wound is still too fresh. Yet. Really? I mean, eventually she's going to have to block him to move on with her life. What? I don't want him seeing my new man. Mariah never blocked me. <laughs> and, and I know why. <laughs> but we'll talk about that when we hit the couch. <laughs> don't worry, everybody. I got you covered. <laughs> So now, I know you know T.I. Love and I know you know Tiny. Yes. And you, uh, have you ever seen their show, The Family Hustle? I have. It's a very interesting show. Yes. Uh, this is the last season. It airs on Monday nights. Well, you know, in the new episode, uh, Tiny, uh, T.I. was very supportive of right. Tiny and Escape getting back together love and going that. on tour. I love yeah. it too. Can't wait for that. Yeah. But he changed his tune when he found out she wanted to bring the kids. That you take a look at this, and then we're all gonna talk. All right, let's If I'm out working and you out working, uh, who's well, gonna be here with them? I'm gonna have, she going with me. Oh, hell no. Oh, that's hell a definite, no. baby. Hey, look, man. Don't, Precious is? My child is not finna, no, look. She's going. No. She has to go. No. I am not gonna be without her. Well, She's you need to stay home then. Life on the road is no place for no damn Chill. baby. It's best for her to be in a stable place well, where she can wake up at a certain time, eat at a certain time, play at a certain time, go to bed anyway. at a certain time. Okay. You grown, you can do what you want to do. You're a working yeah. woman, you can make whatever decision you want. That baby is innocent and, and she is she not. And she will travel no. with her mother. No. Ooh. You first. Me first? <laughs> I know these people. I got to talk to these, both of them. Um, <laughs> I, and I'm so do I. It's very awkward I'm a, in the purple chair, isn't it? It is. All right. I'm going to keep it a stack, though. They are both 100% accurate. And I say this because I believe children should always be with their mother. That's a connection. You can't break that. They, a mom and a child, especially at that age. Okay. But... T.I. is right, too. Like, the road is no place for a baby. Like, that's, like, it needs stability. I mean, shoot, I know. Like, you got them sleeping hours and feeding and diapers. And so I would say, if, if this was me. Yes, go ahead. Or even I'll, I'll give you a per perfect example. Mariah didn't go on the road for the first couple of years until the kids were able to do things, like, until they were potty trained and all of that type of stuff. Huh. It's because it made it easier on her. And I was open to it. And, you know, even I, I, was, I was being Mr. Mom. I had the diaper bag right there. No, we there. know. We know. We know you are. You got to do we, it. We know. We it's know. a family effort. Yeah. You guys slay me with your after divorce um, shenanigans. That's yeah, like, you're such family people, do you know? I'm talking that, that love frequency continues yeah. to flow. <laughs> we'll talk about where it's growing. <laughs> anyway, here's my thought. My thought is that. She clearly said that Tiny can go on the road, or he clearly said, you can go on the road, you can do whatever you want. You know, but the baby, who is still a little goober, must stay home. And he had a very good point. And my vote is, Tiny, leave the baby at home. And you still go on the road, but this is what you do as a working mom, a real hustlet. As a, a hustlet, I like that. <laughs> as opposed to a hustler. A real hustlet. I like that. When you do your spot dates in Greenpoint, you know, and, and Mississippi and where you go, you go there and then you fly back home. Come home that you, night. Yep, and you go there and then you fly back home. The road is not a place for a baby, not even back when Keith Sweat was popping. And <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I want her, you know, that, that, that. No, look, 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 look. The road oh, has always been seedy. But yes. in 2007, the road is seedier. People while out in parking lots. Absolutely. People bring guns. Everybody's bus travel doing dangerous. drugs, All drinking. That. It's not a place for a baby. I agree with T.I. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, now, are you friends with R. Kelly? Of course I'm friends with R. Kelly. We did a song, I'm a gigolo, spinning last <laughs> That's my guy. Well, I, don't, I don't condone his <laughs> personal stuff, but whatever he doing, his... Business is his business. All right, well, welcome to the heat in the purple chair. Let's get it. It's Shout not... out to Kel. <clears throat> All right, well, he's in legal trouble and I'm gonna break it down. Again? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is equally as 
Well, not, nothing could equal that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> a man is claiming that R. Kelly slept with his wife and gave her an STD, which, which she ended up giving to him. And he's suing R. It, it, chlam, uh, chlamydia. That's the one where it that, burns and itches when you urinate. That's the clap. Yeah, well, no, I think that might be two different things, oh, but you, oh, oh, it, it gets oozy and pussy. And if you don't, te if you don't tend to it, <laughs> that's why I cross my legs like this, exactly. It's very uncomfortable, but somebody's gotta do it. So it might as well be us, Nick. All right, so he's suing for emotional, psychological, and financial loss, and I agree. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, no. Okay, the wife used to have it pop in with R. Kelly before she even married the man. Oh. The man, allegedly. The man, oh, why, if you wanna know what she looks like, I, I can tell you, I already got this drummed up in my head. She looks like a combination of um, Neely, uh, Gina Neely, remember the Neelys? And, and uh, Mimi from the Drew Carey show is how she wears her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. We can't Dude. show the woman's picture for some reason or another, but I just gave you a pretty accurate description, would you that say? Was, that was vivid, that was vivid. By the way, Norman, I haven't talked to you the whole show. Are you fanning out? I am fanning, I'm trying to be cool. Cause you know, I'm wilding out, I'm fanning out. <laughs> okay. Uh, we really gotta talk about the R. Kelly thing? Yes, so, so the man, the man is a Mississippi de deputy, deputy sheriff. So he, he the police. No, listen, listen, exactly, exactly. Okay. And he's suing R. Kelly. So his wife allegedly had this relationship before they were married, follow oh. what I'm saying. This sound like trapped in the closet. Look, <laughs> listen. Look, 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 look. He's look. in the closet. This is how they got back together, right? <laughs> So she went to see R. Kelly in concert and I guess they locked eyes and they rekindled that old thing, right? By the way, this is an age appropriate woman, just so you're, uh, in case you're wondering. <laughs> oh. this, is not, this is not a seven year old or like. Oh, come on, when? Like <laughs> last summer when he had the 19 year old girlfriend, a 50 year old man. What do you talk to a 19 year old about, Nick, when you're 50? I'm not 50. But that's your friend. <laughs> Anyway, Love you, Kales. this is the rest of the dirt, right? <clears throat> so the couple's living in Mississippi. R. Kelly bought a place in Atlanta. <clears throat> the wife convinced the husband to quit his job in Mississippi and get another deputy job in Atlanta. <laughs> allegedly, so she can continue to carry on with your friend. So <laughs> Order in the court. She's a school teacher. <laughs> That's probably why, never mind, I'm not even gonna say that. Yep. <laughs> One step closer to the kids in the classroom. Uh, you said that. Now this is, I didn't this, say a this, thing. this, I, my friend R. Kelly, sound, this ain't none of his business. This between that man and that woman. What did he do? Where, where did the STD come into play? Like, did he give, did he give her, Allegedly, the STD and well, before the and here's the up? thing: if you don't tend, if you don't tend to chlamydia, which oh. oozes and burns and stuff, <laughs> you could go sterile as a man, and it it affects women worse than men. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never had an STD, so I mean, all got those wood. girls you've been with. <laughs> knock knock. Never had it. Now, are you? But Let's, let's get down to the brass You can take test. a pill, it'll be gone, but I'm just saying. Uh, I don't wanna, I, You don't wanna ooze I, and burn. No. It's not attractive. But I don't think, uh, I don't see nothing wrong. <laughs> with a little bumps and grass. <laughs> um, okay, are you friends with Naya Rivera? Um, I, I, you know I, I, I seen her before, I don't really know her like that, so I guess we could talk about her. Okay, good. <laughs> well, she's 30 years old and she's been dating this 52-year-old David Spade. Oh, that's my friend. Yeah, I like him. I like him too. <clears throat> he gets a lot of hot girls and people don't get it with, you know, with David Spade. But my thought has been always, you show me some funny, even before the money, but you show yeah. me potential to be able to get that money. And I've never been like superficial like that, but I'm sorry, Nick, I did put you in that same thing. Like, damn, how did he get Mariah Carey? You know what I'm saying? <laughs>
<laughs> but know, I get it. It's and also uh, to David's uh, credit, it's really if it's sense of humor. Yeah. It's about making a woman comfortable. And, yes. And if you can make a woman take feel, her guard down and laugh and feel enjoy, beautiful and comfortable. Yeah. That's 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 the entry point. Yes. So like it, that's I get it. Comedians get women. I know they do, Nick. <laughs> I get it now. Heather Locklear, he's been with. Uh, Nick, uh, Nicolette Sheridan. All these women, they're so beautiful. A lot of people don't understand, but now I get it. And by the way. He got a tight too, don't he? Yeah. Well, no, not really. He, he need to get some sisters in there. I need to see some. <laughs> Well, I know, I know. I was watching television and they caught up with uh, Heather Locklear the other day at the airport. And, and sh they asked her, you know, so you used to date David Spade. How does he get such hot girls? And she turns around, she goes, basically, because he's got a big one. Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's too much information for me. But, um, <laughs> so, so it, the, the, the sense of humor is what gets him and the big one is what keeps him. <laughs> Uh oh, oh yeah, no. that hit the jackpot? Yes. Is that it? No, that's that it. means it's time for Wendy's big Vegas giveaway. Suzanne, bring out the slot machine. Oh, she's dressed as Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne, you really do know how to pop it. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Nick. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. That is true. <laughs> you need these shoes with that outfit. Yeah. That'd be lit. All right, well, let's get today's caller on the line. We're calling uh, La T. Hello. Latifia. Hello. Latifia. How you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> She's in California. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm she, so it's sorry. Oh my God, Miss it, Wendy. It's okay. I love you. I freaking love you. Latifia is in Long Beach, California. Nick Cannon is here co-hosting with me for the whole hour. Yeah. Hey, Latifia. Oh my God. So, Hi, Nick Cannon. Hey, Latifia. <laughs> What's happening? So. Latifia, you're today's contestant on Wendy's Big Vegas giveaway. You've been watching our show every day on KTTV, right? Absolutely. Okay, let's find out what you're playing for. Suzanne's gonna pull the lever. All right, here we go! Yes! Playing you and a guest to Vegas for a once in a lifetime trip to see pop icon Britney Spears. Thanks to our friends at VegasGirlsNightOut.com, you're getting VIP tickets to see Britney Piece of Me at the Axis at Planet Hollywood. Plus, you'll get a four day, three night stay at Excalibur Hotel and Casino on the fabulous Las Vegas Strip. And take in one of Vegas's sexiest shows, Thunder from Down Under. Then, cap off your trip with dinner for two and VIP nightclub access at Vegas Hotspot Tau. That's a really fabulous package. Yes! Latifia. Yes! I want, I want to go see Britney. <laughs> you all, but you only have 15 seconds to answer correctly, okay? Okay. I don't all think right. she's going to get you this get one. this right, Latifia, take me to go see Britney with you. Yes, sir. Got you. Uh, yesterday during Hot Topics, we Wendy go. talked about Aretha Franklin. Aretha gave Wendy a gift that she still has. Name the item and the designer. 15 seconds and go. It's a bag by Vera Bradley. Yeah! Yeah! Congratulations! We You're going, going to, to see Britney. We going oh to Britney. I want to thank our friends at VegasGirlsNightOut.com. Bye, Latifia. You gonna pick me up or I'm picking you up? If you want to play Wendy's Big Vegas Giveaway, just log on to my Facebook page to enter. Make sure that you watch our show every day because we might be calling you next. We've got more great show for you. Nick is here all hour long. And I'm putting him on the couch so I can really get down. Next. We get down on the couch. So, <clears throat> we're having a whole lot of fun here with Nick Cannon. So, Nick. Yes, Miss Wendy. <laughs> Are you and Mariah still sleeping together? In my mind, I believe you are, and there would be nothing wrong with that. There would be nothing wrong with that, but that's not the case. You always look so, like, I have a picture, I don't know whether we can drum it up, um, with them laying on the bed, reading the bedtime story. We just showed it the other day on Hot Time. I was asleep. Yeah, but when, but, listen, after midnight. <laughs> once the kids are in once bed. Once the kids are in the bed, and the wine is flowing, you know she likes to have a drink. 
And whatever you do. <laughs> and look, she's in a negligee. Oh. Gorgeous. Amazing. She never calls you, hey, Nikki. And then you come in and she lets it drop. <laughs> come on, it's nice to go back to a comfortable place. It is. And there's nothing but unconditional love there. I mean, she's gorgeous, but you know, I'm, I'm respectful. I put the kids in bed and I go home. I, um, uh, I don't believe you. Why not? I, I just don't. Listen, I... I'm rooting for you guys to get back together in five years. And I said that on her top. I'm gonna give you five years. I'm gonna five. tell you why. Five tell me, years. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm giving lady. five years, and I already told you this. Okay. Because you, after going to your set and okay. seeing all those gorgeous women, right? You know, just throwing themselves around. You could have any pick of the litter. And I know that you're picking and littering. <laughs> You know, when I see you around town and stuff, you need five years to just like get out there and do it and then come on back home to mama. Yeah. On. Yes. <laughs> what about her? I mean, she's, she's... She needs time also, yeah. but you've already broken up two of her relationships that I we know. I broke them up? Oh, heck, you're, cause you're always around. When she was with the billionaire, you broke them up. Along with, along with in my mind. I, was, I wanted to be with the billionaire. <laughs> Let's more yachts for everybody. <laughs> um, along with the diva antics, though, I do think that you run a lot of interference. I don't believe that that was a real relationship with the background dancer, Brian Tanaka. I don't know. I, really, but, I don't get involved in that. I'm just there to support my children. That's all. But you're always around. For my children. And I, whatever she wants to do in her personal life, I support. I, I salute. I just want her to be happy. Well, then why did you divorce? You want the real? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. All right, well, let's get to it. I'm gonna meet, so, and maybe you'll agree with me. I feel like when two people are in a relationship, mm -hmm. it should be about growth, right? You should be, it should be a situation where everyone's becoming a better human being yes. in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So when you get to a point where there's no longer any growth and you're not bettering each other, and especially as you're building a household to become one, because that's what marriage is all about, I felt like, it was probably best, especially for our children, since <clears throat> they're the number one priority, to be able, if I could be the best human being and the best father from outside of that house, that's why I had Got it. By the way- It was all my fault, I did it. No, that, that's, you're a man, Moki. <laughs> yeah, you are. So how did Mariah react when you had uh, the baby with uh, the, um, the young lady? <laughs> And by uh, the way, congratulations on Baby Golden. Thank you very much, thank mm -hmm. you. That was Easter. Hot, you got hot. the little suit on like yeah, your daddy. You, we know, you did your rounds, because we saw you with- I was busy, <laughs> I was busier than the Easter Bunny, <laughs> boy. We I saw was... you with the twins, who by the way, I know turn uh, six on April yeah. 30th. Yeah, on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah, so how did, how did Mariah react? Did she throw shoes at you? No, she took it, like, you gotta understand, we're real good friends. We're like the best of friends. She was happy for me, and the kids played all together, and they visit, like, it's, it's all love. The moms get along? Yeah, it's that love frequency we talking about. Has it's Mariah just... ever met her? Oh, look, oh at that. look at your daughter with her. That's ha adorable. Has Mariah ever met her? No. <laughs> Not yet, not yet, not yet, give but her, eventually. Give her five years. Yeah. Then, you know, once you all get back together, you know, then, then Mar Mariah, you know, well. You speaking this into existence. Yeah, well, yes, yes. I see, I see. Yes. I spoke the marriage into existence. I, it can happen. I feel like, um, I feel like um, she needs some stability in her life. That's what I'm here for. Regardless if we together or not, I'm gonna and always be that I don't that like stability. her manager, Stella. Why? And I think that I think that her entourage is is. Why well, you just go just hate on the teens? It wouldn't be my first time. That's true. But we try. We it's about love. It's about you positive. like her. I, yes, I do. Actually, you know why? And I'm gonna tell you this because I like uh, any strong, affirmative woman. And when you have two strong women together like Mariah and Stella, they can do some amazing things together as long as the focus is on point. Mm. And that's what it is. Like I, I'm never going. You know what I mean? I'm never gonna discredit a woman, especially a woman in this industry, because you know how hard it is for, you know, so whether you're in front of the camera, behind the camera, people take people's energy sometimes and they, they want to say it's negative, but it, it's assertive. It's a, Did it's you a, watch the reality show? Did you think that was a good idea for her to do? I didn't, but see, again, from my understanding, it wasn't supposed to be a reality show. It was supposed to be a tour documentary, but then powers that be get involved and they start focusing on stuff like 
relationships and all that stuff. And it's, I, I wish they would have focused on the music a little bit more. So, so, but you know, that's again, Mariah has to stick to her vision because, like I always say, people, Mariah manages Mariah. <coughs> it don't matter who that other person is. She runs her business. She runs her career, and that's why she's the queen that she is. Mm. The truth, Wendy. I speak nothing but the truth. Do you ever, did you ever sleep over the house? Yeah, I do. In close proximity to her room? <laughs> <laughs> sleep in my kids' room. How do you feel? I know you have lupus, Nick. Yeah. How did you discover you had lupus? And how do you feel now? I feel amazing now. I mean, I feel like I got an order. I feel like, you know, uh, I have lupus. Lupus doesn't have me. Yeah. You know? um, I found out um, in... 2012, and, and for many of you that don't know, it is an autoimmune condition mm -hmm. that is actually brought on by stress. And I never thought I was a person who was stressed out, but when you harbor things and you hold things in, uh, it can fester and turn into things. And, and, and it's where your immune system starts to attack your organs. Mm -hmm. So that stress feels like it's something wrong, and so it begins to attack. <clears throat> so since then, I've just been in a real tranquil, peaceful place. You, like this. I mean, but you work a lot of jobs. I remember you were a radio DJ in the yeah, morning. Yeah. You know, now you no, you no longer have America's Got Talent, but right. I, you, you have your vlogcast that you're working on. Yeah, yeah. He runs a tight ship with that wilding out. It's been on for many, many years. Yeah. You really are not a lazy man. Oh, thank at you. At all. <laughs> and you know. Thank you. Um, why did you, what happened with America's Got Talent? Uh, honestly, uh, I love that job. I mean, I feel like it's one of the best shows on television, uh, but I feel like it was a situation where I was being an artist. I was speaking freely uh, in, in humor and satire. And, Doing comedy. Yeah, and it made some people uh, uncomfortable. A lot of the N-word, N-word, N-word. Comedy, Nick, you know, after midnight is different from... Absolutely, and it was just really, you know, I was uh, making an observation that they didn't agree with, and when... You know, my art and my character is placed on the line. I got to stand for something. How much, how much time did you have on your, on your um, contract? Because they, according to, did they fire you? Uh, honestly, did they fire you? Y'all want to know the whole story? Or did you, or did you walk away? Because that's $4.5 million a year you were making, they say. I, I, yeah, I was getting that cheddar. Uh, <laughs> No, but again, like, uh, there's no amount of money that is worth my dignity and my integrity. So, so you walked away? I, yeah. Um, I got a phone call, you know, the night before the special aired that, you know, that they were very unhappy and looking to terminate my services because of some of the things that I said. So right then, immediately, I took a stance. was like, I don't care. You know, like, they were saying, like, well, do you want to make a statement or you want to be compensated for the rest? I was like, no, See, tell them to keep their money, keep all of that, I'm good. And then they saw that they made a big that... mistake, so they came back and said, you know what? Cooler heads prevailed. Uh, we made... Wait a minute! Yeah. Wait a minute! That's what happened. How much time between the time that they that you quit? Or that I was told that I was being fired. Right, and yeah. how, was it a week? <laughs> that was a couple hours. <laughs> and, and so, okay, and so what they say? What they say? They, they, I, it was this big call with everybody on my team. Like, you know, we get, we're, we're preparing you for this, you know. And I was like, all right, I'm, I'm a man up. I'm gonna own up to it. I'm never gonna alter anything that I said. I'm gonna stand by everything that I said. And then I think once they talked to some higher powers, they were like, yeah, we, we rock with Nick. We saw, it. you know, we may not like what he said, right. but we're not gonna fire him over it. But by that time, it was too late. My, my integrity had already been challenged. Damn. So you walk away from $4.5 million paycheck, and now they hire um, Tyra Banks to take the job. Who I love. That was amazing I love Tyra, choice. but uh, Tyra is no Nick. And my choice happened to have been um, Marlon Wayans. Yeah, that's my I, guy, I, too. I, I, thought, I thought he would have been great. I think he would have, too. But I also, I, I was thinking, like, why couldn't they go with, like, Mario Lopez or somebody no! else? No! Why? I put his name, you and I think alike, and that's, uh, I said, and please don't hire Mario Lopez. He's too sterile, and I love him. He, he's, <laughs> sterile? <laughs> like, he's too, 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 um, he's too safe. Like, you're fun, you're goofy. For God's sake, she got on glittery shoes and a, and turban. a turban. And no shirt. And no shirt. <laughs> so, do you, do you, did you reach out to Mel B? Did you know this guy, Steven? Uh, I did. He would, he would, uh, he'd be around quite a bit on set. And, you know, I, again, because Mel B was going through so much, so I just, you know, sent her love, sent her some flowers, just, you know, everything with her personal life and, her, you know, her passing of her father, you know, again, just sending good vibrations, yeah. prayers, and frequencies that way. Yeah. Yeah. 
I can't believe the show is almost over and I'm getting it's signs on the side that say move quickly and whatnot. It's almost over, I just got here! Look, all right, so now you have a new movie coming out and you're yeah. gonna put it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I sold it to YouTube. Yeah. It's called King of the Dance Hall. We got any dance hall Jamaican fans in the building? To my Caribbean, West Indians. I love the culture, fell in love with the culture. Uh, it debuted at the Toronto Film Festival last year and uh, got in business with YouTube. And uh, now so the entire world will be able to see it, you know, the islands all, all the way to Antarctica. It's gonna be dance hall, boom. <laughs> By the way. And this is my outfit in the movie. I wear this the whole time. <laughs> Up next, everybody. We're gonna get even more personal with Nick. More? He's, he, he's gonna sit on our hot seat. Don't go far. Yes. Nick Cannon is such a good sport, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Shout out to all you celebrities. It's safe here at Wendy, right it, Nick? It's safe. It is safe, All yes. All right, and now he's brave enough to take our hot seat. Oh. Come on, Nick, let's show him how it's done. Let's do it, I'm uh, with it. All right, here's your 40 degree question. With each question, the heat will in, uh, increase, okay? How, oh, okay. <laughs> Have you ever asked a celebrity out that's turned you down? I'm talking about not in 10, when you were 10 years old, but no. Uh, that's turned me down? Yes, like I don't wanna go out with you or no thank you. No. And this is I'll tell you why, because you gotta be strategic. First of all, you can't seem that thirsty. I mean, so I only like who like me, you know? Got you. Okay, we gotta move it along. All right, here is your 60 degree question. What's the most diva thing that you've ever seen Mariah do? Have twins. <laughs> she shut the whole hospital down. She she shut them down? And when they was born, she made me play they, her music as they was coming out. <laughs> so it's true. It was a fantasy. They was dead. I, to fantasy. To fantasy. Here's your 80 degree question. Oh my gosh. Um, you dated Chili from TLC after Mariah. Who broke up with who and, and, and what happened? I was probably not ready to be in that situation because I still feel like I'm broken and have a lot to deal with. And she was so gracious to be an amazing friend, but oh, knew that I wasn't gotcha. really ready. All right, and one more. Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey are enemies. And we all know are this. They? Oh, yes. I didn't know that. Oh, yes. <laughs> but if you had a chance, would you hook up with Nicki anyway? <laughs> Okay, okay, hold up. So I got a question too. Is this pre the booty dropping or is this? <laughs> I'm just, this is a real question. Is this bubbly booty, Nikki, or is this after <laughs> after the booty drop? The booty drop. Oh nah, I can't do that then. You if it put the bubbly boot, if, if she go and get, the, get it fixed, you I'll, are I'll call me, Nikki. such a fabulous co-host. <laughs> Thank you so much for braving our hot seat. Race the clock is next. Yeah. <laughs> it's very funny. Okay. We're back. And it's time to play Race the Clock. Let's meet our player. What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, Wendy. I'm Pamela Price, and I'm from Houston, Texas. Hi, Nick. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> you got 30 seconds to race the clock. The question is about Nick, okay? And he's okay. going to ding if the answer is right. And here's your question. Name five famous women that Nick has hooked up with. And go. Okay, um, we have Kim Kardashian, uh, Selena Banks. It's so much fun here at Wendy, right, y'all? If you're ever in New York City, come join our studio audience and be one of Wendy's co-hosts. Go to wendyshow.com. The tickets are free, and the good times are guaranteed. Yeah.
scrub our booties. Oh, it's a mess. We're back with Nick Cannon. You've been such a great sport. I mean, Thank you, you Thank gave you. up. I tried. You. I'm a bit, I've had a great time, but I'm probably gonna get in a whole lot of trouble after this. <laughs> I just wanna say, I, I've, I've had the opportunity to be around some amazing women, and Wendy, you are one of them, and I just salute every woman in here, every Thank woman. Thank you. All well, love, all fun. Um, I got you a special gift. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, here they come. What? A turban. Hey! Look, Nick, a this turban for every day of the week. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, this one is amazing with the fan on. That yeah. <laughs> and it's just how you do it. How you doing? <laughs> An air conditioned turban. I we'll need be that. right back. <laughs> I would love to do this again. Thank you so much for coming by our show. Yeah. Good to see everybody. And I want to thank my co-host, my studio audience tomorrow from Imaginary Mary. Jenna Elfman is coming by. Yeah. And I've got you covered with the Juicy Hot Topics. I love you for watching today. And I'll see you next time on Wendy. Yeah.